here we are. White Mountains, New Hampshire. Hemajawasset Wilderness. Yes, we're right here. So coming up. Up, 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 up. Back over to Bonds. This will be on Tuesday. Probably, uh, probably can't see anything because it is still 20 minutes to 6 in the morning. <laughs> ah. Nice. Alright, 1.4 up, and then I'm making my turn. And here's the bear alert. Where is that? Still down near, yeah, right near Cedar Brook, and so the same exact spot. This is the famous Lincoln Woods Trail. Flat as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Sun's just getting ready to come up now. Should be there in a few minutes. Looking good. Looking good. Here's the junction that I need to take. So it should be 4.1 now to Mount Flume. into the, uh, the little switchback section of Osseo. I know you probably can't see, but we're finally getting up, getting some elevation here. I'm up above 3,000 feet now. Whew. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't be sitting behind sitting behind a desk as often as I am. mountains as far as the eye can see. Gorgeous. time a group would leave, another five would show up. <laughs> so I'll have to do a little shot back. Yeah, that's the summit right there. Whew, what a fantastic view. Then, that's Franconia Notch, right there. Oh. 
That's where I gotta go. Sight for sore eyes. You have no idea how bad I wanted this cup of coffee. <laughs> My initial plan was I was gonna go up over Flume, up over Liberty, then 1.8 miles, I was going to head up to Little Haystack and then all the way across the ridge. Did not make it that far. Uh, first off, because of the extra 2.4 miles I had to do this morning, uh, going back to the Jeep and coming back. When I got here to Liberty Spring, um, I, was, uh, I was down to like half a liter of water, so I had to come down here anyway. Once I got all my water situated, mm. oh, that's good. Once I got my water set, situated, um, they have a weather report that's kind of hanging there. So I took a look at it, and from what they were saying, uh, sometime in the afternoon today, uh, some storms were supposed to come rolling through. Uh, so I kind of timed it based on how I've been hiking so far today, my pace and everything else. So in doing all that, all that math, math, um, I realized that I was probably going to be on the ridge when these storms were supposed to roll through. Uh, now, whether they do or not, I don't know. I left the water bottles and the camera at the other tent site down there, climbed all the way back up the hill, three tenths of a mile, to get my backpack, come three tenths of a mile back down the hill with the backpack. Got everything set up over here. And now, I'm sitting here relaxing with a beautiful cup of joe. Yes. Re the reason why I had to go back to my Jeep this morning. <laughs> uh, when I got up this morning, um, You know, I had to, had to do my business. Um, luckily in the parking lot there's bathrooms. Um, I didn't realize that there would be toilet paper in the bathrooms. So I brought mine with me. And I left it in the bathroom. Now the only reason why I know, or I found out so quick, was because when I got to that trail sign I went to go take some out because I wanted to blow my nose. And there was none there. I gotta say, these things are awesome. Super light. They got a lot of flex. It grippy. Even when I get cake with mud, like, well, I mean, they're starting to wear now because I wear them around a lot. But, good shoes. A minus, Fesk. A minus. That's my honest review. A minus of this. I mean, I have a feeling the reason why it happened was I hit a rock one day and it chipped. Chipped that right there. And I think that allowed water to start seeping in underneath it. And as dirt got in there, mud, water, now the glue's starting to break down. I mean, everything else is solid though, so... I have no worries about them falling apart. It is six o'clock, a little after six. Oh my god. It's now 8.30. Oh, I fell back to sleep. Oh my god, I guess I needed it. The campground is looking fairly empty now. I still see someone moving down there. But it looks like most of the people that were here already packed up and left, 
so the sun is out, it's coming through. All right, that's it, all packed up. Got everything? Good. Oh, now, I'll go down this way, and then I gotta head back up that way. Uh, I gotta fill my water bottles at the spring, and then I'm out of here. Back up that. Oh, if you're uh, if you're coming down to Liberty Spring, this is what you got to look forward to as the first climb of your morning. <laughs> it's only three tenths, but it's a pretty brutal three tenths. All right. Three point five. Not bad. Off the Franconia Ridge. Man, I busted a sweat coming up the hill. Jeez. Ooh, a lot of blow down back here. Wow. Yeah, that's my jam. That's the one right there. A little haystack. Not so little though, is it? Should be on top of a little haystack in about five minutes. It's not that much further. Oh yeah. There's a ton of people up at the summit. So the summit is right there. So I gotta go up there, up and over Lincoln. Lafayette is in the clouds. Oh, gorgeous. Card. That is it. We are on the ridge. Pemajuasa Wilderness being the west side, on the other side of Boncliff, that's the east side. Awesome. That's Garfield kind of poking out right on the other side there. I'm debating if I'm going to try to push up and over into uh, Galehead or if I'm going to stay on the other side and then just do all of that tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know yet. Instagram models in front of me. There it is. Off 
Oh yeah. Wish I got that on camera. <laughs> Guy came down. I stopped to let him go. He stopped to let me go. We're both just standing there staring at each other. <laughs> conservation area. Oh. It's always good. Getting a good view of the hut now. Oh, this wind. Oh, once I get up, once I get up over Lafayette, I'll be dipping back down into the woods, so be able to talk a little easier. Figure while well, I'm sheltered from the wind a little bit. Oh, yeah. There's Garfield right there. And Garfield Pond is like somewhere back in there. I'm gonna see if maybe, maybe I can get that site that's down there and hope nobody else rolls through. There we go. picture. Green leaf hut. Barely see it, but it's there. And now I'm going off this way, up and over that little ball there. And then it dips down over to Garfield. Time to eat. Starting to swing towards Garfield. <laughs> and the second I turned off Lafayette, all the crowds disappeared. Oh, I love having a trail to myself. Finally. There's a couple kids up there. One kid pulled out this huge joint and fired that thing up right there. <laughs> there was like old people around. Dude, don't care. Uh, you can't even hardly see Lafayette Summit. I still see a couple people sitting up there. Ooh, man, is it windy. I don't even know how much of this is going to come out. If you're even going to be able to hear me. Funny, you could see people coming up the ridge and you can see them dropping down too, going down towards the hut. This is just, this is some phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal scenery here. I can't even, I can't even explain. And I know the camera's not doing it justice because the light stinks today. Mount Washington, be in the clouds over there. <clears throat> I feel bad for all the vacationers are going up there today to try to see uh, see the views from up there. All they're seeing is about 30 feet off the side of the mountain and in clouds. I know. I've been up there when it's like that. Actually, oh, the first the first 4,000 footer that I climbed Back in 2012, when I started this whole this whole adventure, it was Washington. I started with the biggest mountain. I was going to leave that one for last, but I had the opportunity to come up here and climb it, so I took it. This is like the the. The classic, the classic New Hampshire experience. Got a trail junction down there. 
think that's for the uh, like, oh God, what's the name of it? Shukamuk or something like that. The Shukamuk Trail. Let's, let's see when we get down there. See how bad I butchered it. Galehead Hut. That's 5.8. Skokum Chuck, Skokum Chuck Trail. Okay. I'm gonna be losing this lovely breeze that I've been enjoying all day. Right there. You know what that means. Oh, back in the tree line. Back in the tree line. Bye bye, breeze. Yeah, let's go down this way. Yeah, it's gonna be the end of that. Holy shit. That's a deep hole right there. Well, not too deep, but I won't wanna, won't wanna slip a leg down inside that. I think there might actually be somebody at that campsite. As I'm coming down the trail here, I'm getting close. Maybe a tenth of a mile. I could smell I could smell a campfire. Is there somebody back here? Maybe they found a water source. Because I tell you this much, I haven't found one. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at this. There's a little Yeah. There's a little foot trailer here. Wow, dude, nice find. Well, Syntex, no doubt. Dude, you found yourself a nice little spot right here. This is a very nice... There's a little fire ring now, too. It's a very nice little spot. Definitely... more hammock than anything else, too. It'd be hard to squeeze a tent down in there. Eh, maybe not, but it'll be on an angle. It would be funky. All right. Off the Garfield Pond we go. Wow. Look at all this blowdown. That's crazy. Oh, with any luck, if there's nobody at that camp, I could find enough dry wood. I might even be able to get a fire going tonight, which would be fantastic because I haven't gotten one yet. I got a renewed energy to get there quick. Oh, I just ran into uh, ran into one guy. They just came up and over Garfield, and they were down at the Garfield Pond site around Forish. And they said, as of right now, or when they were there, uh, there was nobody. There was nobody set up. So I'm kind of a. Uh, I kind of picked up the pace just a teeny bit, so I could try to get there before anyone shows up. Oh man, what a climb down here! A lot of rocks. Everything's wet. Oh, gotta take your time. <sighs> Been hauling ass today. Trying to make up ground, but still behind by about five miles. So I might have to just tough it out tomorrow. <sighs> oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. I just passed a guy and I asked him if there was anybody up at uh Garfield Pond site, and he said there was four naked people. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what that's all about. Something's telling me uh, we're about to find out. All right, well, that's the second person now that has confirmed to me that there's a bunch of naked people down at the pond. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be interesting. There's Garfield Pond.
Oh yeah. This, this will do. Wow, look at all that blow down right there. Holy shit. He's made. Mm -hmm. That's it. I just gotta collect some wood because I am definitely starting a fire tonight. There's no doubt. There's nobody, nobody here either. All in all, a good day. This, this makes it thousand times better, let me tell you. Something's telling me, uh, something's telling me we might be closing this loop a little early here. And you can hear it. It's still raining. And I honestly don't want to hike 15 miles in the rain. I really don't. Ah, okay. So that's... So that's why there's little pads down here. This is where everybody comes to take a dump. Yep. I mean, people don't even bury this stuff, man. They just friggin' dump wherever. This is the exact reason why they're so strict about everything here. Ooh. Well, well, well. We have some blue sky there. And the winds have died down. I still don't know if making a run for the bonds today is a good idea, though. Like I said, I gotta be out of here today. I don't have enough food to stay another night. I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes or so, let my tent dry up a teeny bit. I didn't realize the thing was that wet underneath. There was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of garbage and stuff somebody left here or just picked all that stuff up. Figure I'll take it out with me. Nothing like a good climb right out of the campsite.
now I'm going to start losing a ton of elevation. And judging by the trail, this is going to be slow going. I was actually thinking about that. Yeah, it might be. Who knows? It might be an opening. If they got space and you've got a credit card, I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, no, I didn't bring my credit card with me, so. Uh, nope. <laughs> no, I only carry cash when I'm out and I'm down to 20. I was just staying at campsites if I could. Yeah, yeah. Dishwasher. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. I know, I've done it before. And I wash dishes to earn my stay. <laughs> exactly, who knows? There's three nice people there. Yeah. All right, take care. Ooh, good water source right here. All right, oh, there we go. Still got 7.4 miles just to the wilderness trail. And then I still got quite the hike on that out. Probably still got like nine miles today. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna head down to 13 Falls campsite. Now, yeah. I hiked my hike, and my hike needed four days, not three. Because I like to take my time. I like to stop, I like to hang at the summits. And I just, uh, I just didn't, put the distance in that I needed to put in day per day so this is what I was left with it's the food prep area All right, let's find somewhere to sit down I'll get nice views like this a little bit further down too once I hit Franconia Falls Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, yeah. When I come back to do Galehead, the Twins, and uh, the Bonds, I think I'm definitely coming up this way and staying at 13 Falls. Because I can make it, I can make it to within 2 miles of Galehead. 2.2 miles. And I won't have to expend hardly any energy to do it. I see you in that hole. I see you. It's pretty fresh. He's been eating berries. Nice. Whew, almost there. The junction with Lincoln Woods Trail. And this should be, oh, this should be the Boncliff Junction. Yep. 
Now this, this is all from the old, from the old choo-choo train that used to come up in here. Huh. Unfortunately, that is the end of this trip. And there's the bridge. So we will go scoot across that bad boy. I've only got like minutes left on this card. I'm gonna have to switch back to one of my other ones. Here we go. It wasn't a full Pemi, it was the semi Pemi. <laughs> that's it, man. Semi Pemi. New Hampshire White Mountains. I'm ready for a beer and I'm ready for some flame broiled something. I don't care what it is. I gotta find something around. Heck of a hike. Oh, so enjoyable too. Oh, just the scenery. The scenery is just out of control. So you can't you can't beat it. You can't beat it in the Northeast. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, I will catch you all next time. Shit, he's coming over here. Look at this shit. Uh oh. There's mama. Mama's in the woods over there. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. <laughs> Babies are cute, but I'm not messing with mama. No, no, no.